Hello Year 10 and welcome to a video where I'm just going to go through some key information that's going to help you revise for your mocks this year. If you have any questions about your revision or about your mocks or anything that we can help you with, uh, please do email me on j.rogs.ormsonmixtureacademy.co.uk or you can just email your class teacher, they'll be able to help you as well. So, I just want to firstly go over your GCSE and what it looks like. So you've studied your whole of paper one now which is your physical environment. And within that, you've studied UK landscapes, geology, rivers and coasts. You've studied weather hazards and climate change, or you're studying that at the moment. By the time your mocks come around, you will have studied that whole unit. And ecosystems, biodiversity and management, we've also studied, we did partly uh, in the first term this year and then partly at home during uh, lockdown. This unit's worth 94 marks, 37.5% of your exam, and you will have one hour and 30 minutes in your final GCSE and in your mock to complete this section. Your paper two is the human environment, changing cities, global development and resource management. And again, this is the same as paper one, 94 marks total, 37.5% of your GCSE, and you'll have one hour, 30 minutes to complete this in your final GCSE. Finally, your third paper for your GCSE job, which we haven't done yet, is geographical investigations and this will go through field work so we're going to go out and complete some field work for you to do and then UK challenges as well is something we'll look at uh, later then 94 marks again there's a so how can you revise uh, for your mocks and what's actually going to be in your mocks well your mocks won't be those three papers that's what you'll get for your final GCSE you're going to firstly do paper one and you've studied the whole of paper one so you're going to be assessed in your mocks on that, that whole paper, UK landscapes, weather hazards and climate change and ecosystems, biodiversity and management. You're going to have 94 marks in that paper and you'll, you'll take one hour and 30 to complete it. Paper two, we've only studied two units so far, so we're only going to assess you on those two units, changing cities and resource management. So you're going to have only one hour to complete those, but it's only going to be worth 64 marks. Okay, so just to confirm, you won't be doing your whole paper two, but you will be doing your whole paper one, and we're not going to do paper three at all because we haven't done that yet. So what are some useful techniques to actually revise for your GCSE? Now, revising for your mocks will be hugely beneficial in the long term in terms of you remembering information. Doing these mocks not only gives us an idea of uh, your progress, but it also gives you an amazing opportunity to do to revise and to go through that process and learn what works best for you in relation to revising for your geography. So, what are some useful tips? Well, Seneca is a really, really useful tool for you to use. Now, you will have used this in other subjects and some of you, depending on your class, will have already started using this in geography. And if you haven't already started, you will be starting very shortly. Seneca Learn is a brilliant resource for checking your understanding, especially when it comes to testing yourself and also completing revision that you can track so you can see what you've done well in and what you need to improve on so you can focus your revision on certain parts of each unit. Each class, so you'll be entered into your class on Seneca Learn, uh, which you may have already been uh, or not, you'll have your own class and you'll be able, you'll be, your teacher will set you work through that class. You can join by clicking add class when you log in uh, and there'll be a link below. Now the link uh, for some reason is blurry on this screen, but if I just show you here, if you go onto Seneca, you can see and you click on um, classes up in the top here, classes and assignments. You will see what classes you're part of. So I'm currently, currently a part of Mrs. Rose 10A2 class and my own 9A2 class. Now you need to click join class. And in this little box here, that's where you're going to type in the code that your teacher will have put onto class charts for you to join. Once you're in the class, you'll be able to see assignments that they've um, given you. And that will be focused revision based on what your teacher thinks that you can you can do. You can also just go on Seneca Learn and do your own revision. You don't need to wait for your teacher to set your work. You can just go on and, and work through some content. Knowledge organisers. Knowledge organisers are really, really good resources for you. They're put together by your teachers, so they're, it's, they're completely focused on your own learning. And they give you um, great information on various things. They'll be shared with you via class charts. All of them have been shared in the past, but we'll put them all on again so you have a resource for that. So um, watch class charts if you don't have access to these at the moment. But they're really good information in terms of what you need to know. So on those knowledge organisers, we've put the essential information that you need to know for each of the units. They're also a really good resource for case studies. 
All right, now your case studies are important for your different units in terms of writing about real life examples with the processes and the information that you're thinking about. And these knowledge organizers have information about what your case studies are and also what you need to know about them. So again, if you're thinking case studies might be something you need to brush up on, these knowledge organizers are a great resource. Other uh, revision techniques you can use with these knowledge organizers, things like using flashcards. So read through the knowledge organizers and think what's the key information, maybe key words that you want to learn, create some flashcards and you can practice with them. Really simple things, look, cover, write, check, look at piece of information, cover it up. Can you remember it? Again, look at the information. Did you get it right? Really useful for key words, key definitions. Test yourself. Um, or give your knowledge organizer to a friend or a family member and ask them to test you and test your knowledge on these uh, units. So um, BBC Bite Science is also a really good revision tool for you. Now you can go onto BBC Bite Science and you can actually go straight into your um, exam board, which is Edexcel. Now this second tick is really important. What I suggest you do if you want to use BBC Bite Science is Google Edexcel A, GCC Geography, BBC Bite Size, because that will take you straight to your exam board that you need to use. Now you'll see this, you'll see topics, physical and human environment. All of the physical environment ones you can do. We're only doing, remember, changing cities and resource management for the, change, for the human environment. So do not click on global development and do not click on people, places, people and places, because you won't be testing those. So just remember that, just changing cities and just resource management if you're gonna use BBC Bite Size. Um, you will see this page uh, on the slide. Um, yes, yeah, so don't click those two. Again, flashcards, really great, or completing the quizzes on Bite Size are fantastic resources as well. The Oak National Academy is another really useful tool. They've got loads of lessons that you can use for your GCC course. Again, you can Google, I suggest, Oak National Academy GCC Geography, and that will take you straight to the relevant page, or you can click on the link on the screen on the left. Only revise the topics that you know you've covered. The Oak National Academy give all GCC geography topics. It's important that you only click on the ones that I've gone through today. So for example, resource management or rivers or coasts, don't click on things you don't recognize because you're probably not going to be assessed on them. So those are three useful ways to revise. A few golden rules as well. Little and often is a great way to revise. All right, 15, 20 minutes looking at knowledge organizer or doing 20 minutes on Seneca Learn or completing a task on a local national academy video doing that often is a really good way of embedding information keep a positive mindset keep positive and, and keep going through it in a positive way always actively revise so never just read notes don't pick up knowledge organization just read always try and do something as well that will engage your brain engage your memory later on if you actively do that <clears throat> over and over again often can you transform information if you're looking at BBC Bite Size and you're reading a bullet point, change it. Maybe create a mind map or a Venn diagram to show different processes, or you can create a flow chart. Flow charts are brilliant if you want to learn about how things are created in the physical world. So how's a man meander formed? Create a flow chart, one, two, three, four. This is how it's formed. That's a really useful way to go. And again, use your lesson notes. They're really, really brilliant resource for you to use. You created them, looking back at them might jog memories. It will give you also specific notes that we want you to know as well. Okay guys, so just, just put this up there again. Um, use the links on this video if it will help you. Send me an, an email if you need any help or your class teachers as well. Um, and we'll obviously be talking to you about this in class over the coming weeks as well.